It is May the 10th. We're on the Gates West Farm here looking at a trial to see whether we can use a named variety of rye in order to synchronize the maturity with the named variety Purple Bounty Hairy Vetch. Uh, Purple Bounty is interesting because it's earlier than the ENS vetches that people use here and so the uh, roller crimping or mowing date um, would time better with getting uh, late May crops in in this environment. Uh, it let us move from the end of May to the middle of May perhaps. So uh, the goal would be to uh, terminate this cover crop next week. The rye is growing very quickly. Um, the hairy vetch is a little bit behind, so the hairy vetch is in there. It's um, a little bit shorter than the rye, so it's not visible at all from the outside. Um, but we'll take a, long, a walk down the rows here and see what we have. So the first plot is our old friend Arustuk, unfortunately mixed in with a taller variety right in the front here. Uh, Arustuk has been one of the shorter ones um, and slower to mature. Um, so it may actually synchronize uh, quite well with the uh, purple bounty vetch. Here's Guardian 2. Um, it's a little bit taller than a rustuk, but it's about the same maturity. Um, this one's called ND Gardener. Um, it's running a little ahead. It's right in boot stage now. Um, 90 centimeters tall, so it's got almost a foot on the Arustuk. Um, and here we've got Danco. Um, this one's matching Guardian pretty well in maturity and size. And now, much taller, uh, we have Elbon, so this is up to 120 centimeters. Um, and it has the flowers, or the, the heads have emerged on this one. So it is uh, the tallest and the earliest. And here we come down uh, to Aristoc again. Uh, less of the tall variety mixed in with this one. Um, and it's a pretty good stout one. Um, may not get out of control so easily. Again, uh, seems to be late. The, um, the vetch is only a few inches below the top of the rye, so it may, it's growing so fast it may very well overtop the rye there, which would not be a bad thing. Um, here again is our tall one, Elbon. Uh, the most mature. Uh, and this ND Gardener is just behind it. Uh, so a little bit shorter, um, but this one is also uh, heading pretty much. Now we're getting down in the lower part of the field here where it's been wetter and the, uh, the plants are noticeably shorter. Um, so here we're in uh, Hazlitt again. Um, I guess, no, sorry, this is the first plot of Hazlitt. We'll see that a few times here. Everything's replicated three times. Uh, here's Danko again. Um, basically the same size, 70 centimeters. Um, and the flag leaf out, but not quite boot stage on that one. Uh, and here's the last rep of a Rustok. Um, so just a hair shorter. Here's Hazlitt again. Um, again, this is in flag leaf stage, so uh, one of the later maturing in there with the Rustuk. Um, here's Gardner, so this is the one that's really tall elsewhere. Um, so this is a little bit behind, but uh, much thinner. It's got a lot of tillage, but very thin. It's the, the dry weight is just going to be lower. And here, Elbon again. This is our tall one, but uh, and so the high 
the high parts are 90 centimeters where elsewhere it was 120 but there's just a lot less to it down here it's very thin and now we get into the the very wet stuff so there's hazlets but they're 50 centimeters for the taller ones um, guardians so it's pretty uneven so it's hard hard to call the uh, actual height on this one i called it 60. Um, and danko again pretty uneven um, when we get down in this part uh, 50 centimeters um, but really low biomass and then the last plot here is guardian so those last four plots really are pretty unimpressive um, and you get sort of normal size further up so we'll see what that does uh, it may be um, well uh, Elbon is ready to roll now but we're going to see when what they're doing when the vetch is ready to roll and there are no flowers on that yet um, so it'll be next week, middle, end, perhaps even early the following week.